Now we're going to log into Tommy3's subdistributor account. And you will see that since this is the first time that Tommy has logged in, his time zone is set to China by default. Again, I will show you that we can just go in here, go to the drop down menu, set your time zone. We can close out of that. So let's go over to the admin management panel here. You will see that we've got his subdistributor account and that he does not have any other accounts below him. We can go to uh, his agent management and you can see that he can create stores and cashiers. Or that beneath him is stores and cashiers. Let's hop over back over to the user management panel here. Let's create a new account. This is going to be for a, a new store. We're going to type in, we're going to do John Tucker too. Again, contact number is not necessary since we uh, aren't using a open validation status. So then we have two new options here. We have a recharge permission and redeem permission. We're going to authorize both of these. This gives the store the ability to recharge the accounts. We're going to keep closed validation settings, and then we're going to just make sure that the active status is set to active. And we'll go ahead and click Save. And it's been successful. And you will see now we have a John Tucker 2 account. This is a store account. Uh, as a sub distributor, I can go ahead and update this account if need be. For instance, if a if we need to reset a password, and if we need to change anything else, I'll go ahead and click return and go back to the main screen here. And next, we are going to log into the store account. 